Russian strikes killed, one person and wounded three others in the Ukrainian region of Kherson, a regional official said Monday. Moscow also launched a hail of missiles across Ukraine early on Monday, with Kiev reporting it had shot down most of the projectiles. Over the past day, the enemy carried out 39 shellings, firing 163 shells from heavy artillery, grads, UAVs and aviation. The enemy shelled the city of Kherson eight times, said Alexander Prokudin, of the military administration for Kherson, in Ukraine's south. As a result of Russian aggression, one person died and three others, including a child, were injured. Russia still controls part of the Kherson region, having withdrawn from the eponymous regional capital last November. Ukrainian air defense crews destroyed 15 out of 18 missiles launched by Russian forces in the early hours of Monday morning, the military said. As air raid sirens blared across the country for more than three hours. The Russian invaders attacked Ukraine from strategic aviation planes, a post on the telegram channel of Valery Zaluznyi, the commander-in-chief of Ukraine's armed forces, read. It added that 15 out of the 18 missiles launched had been destroyed. Kiev city officials wrote on the telegram messaging that all missiles directed at the capital were destroyed. Undermining Russia's logistics is one of the elements of preparation for the expected Ukrainian counteroffensive, a Ukrainian military spokeswoman said on Sunday. After a fire destroyed a large Russian fuel depot in Crimea. While not directly admitting to striking the fuel storage facility in the Crimean port of Sevastopol, Ukraine's military command said that a fire destroyed 10 oil tanks. The city's Moscow-installed governor blamed Ukraine and later said the fire had been put out before a disaster occurred. Natalia Humeniuk, a spokesperson for Ukraine's Southern Command, said the fire has caused a great deal of anxiety in the Russian military. Pope Francis on Sunday said that a secret peace mission in Russia's war in Ukraine was underway, though he gave no details and said the Vatican is willing to help facilitate the return of Ukrainian children, taken to Russia during the war. I'm available to do anything, Francis said during an airborne press conference en route, home from Hungary. There's a mission that's not public that's underway, when it's public I'll talk about it. French President Emmanuel Macron and Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky spoke by phone on Sunday and discussed Ukraine's military needs, both sides said. Zelensky said he had a long and meaningful talk with Macron, during which the two men coordinated their positions on the war, and on how to end the conflict between Ukraine and Russia.